are now going to coat some glass. Very straightforward, it's probably 80% of what we do with our coatings, coating glass and ceramics. Here, just a, a, a soiled piece of glass, we're going to clean the, the, the top surface and, uh, and one of the uh, reverse surfaces just to show you. And so, first thing then, we're going to clean with ethanol. We're going to, on this side here, put our 601 coating for glass and ceramic. And on this side here, we're going to put our 673 coating, uh, universal coating, SI coating. They have slightly different performance characteristics and slightly different application characteristics. So we'll slowly go through it. Stage one, we take ethanol. We're going to use a microfiber. You could spray it. We just need to get it onto the surface. So we're going to take that and clean. And so I'm rapidly cleaning the top surface. Which is dirty, very dusty, but not. But I don't know if you can see, but underneath here, my, I've got finger marks on this side here. Now, cleaning is the most important aspect. So I'm using this microfiber in the first instance to get off the, the heavy soiling. I don't know if you can make it out in the video, but it was heavily soiled. So we've done that. We're now going to use uh, some kitchen towel. We could get, but I don't want to keep on putting the dirt from that microfiber back in onto the glass. So I'm now going to use some ethanol again. For alcohol, you could use IPA, and we're going to clean again. So this is real time. It's not necessarily vastly interesting watching somebody to clean, but that's what we're doing. We're cleaning, removing all of the contaminants. I can see better here where the, the residues are. There's a bit of a fingerprint still there. Okay, so we'll come back in two seconds when this is finished. Okay, we've spent, well I've spent the last, I would say, three minutes cleaning this. It was really very, very dirty. On this side, I've cleaned the front side and the rear side. On this side here, I've cleaned just the front side. Now we're going to do the coating. So it's just for this small task. I've spent three minutes, four minutes cleaning it. So we have to be that precise. So what are we going to do next? We're going to use uh, our 673 coating on this side, 601 on this side. And let's look at the characteristics. So for this area, I would expect it's one milliliter actually to coat it. But we're going to use a wipe uh, and we're going to moisten the wipe because we have to have it operational, but it's very straightforward. And all we do is we're going to wipe the 673 on. We're going, as you noticed, up and down, backwards and forwards, there. And we've got a very easy to apply coating. That's all we have to do for the 673. And you'll notice that when it dries, you'll get a film forming on top of that. So we'll come back to that in a second. The 601 coating, very, very similar, but we have to work this just fractionally more. So again, we're going to moisten the, moisten the, the, the cloth. Again, you probably need less than one half a milliliter to cover this particular area, but we have to have a function, a fully moistened cloth. And with this, we're going to work it a little bit more until the cloth dries out. It looks like it's hydrophobic to start with. You'll see little bubbles, but we keep on working this coating and you notice that those disappear. But it's important with the 601 I'm working much more, but now all that height, what looks like a hydrophobic bub bubbling has gone. But you keep on working with the 601, we keep on working like, like I'm doing now. Okay, so it took me that much more. It's easy to apply, but we have to keep on working this until the cloth is dry. I'm now going to wait 
For this coating, I'm going to wait five minutes before I do any buffing, and then I'm going to buff it with a microfiber. On the 673, I'm going to wait 10 minutes ideally, uh, and then we're going to buff it with a microfiber. So we'll come back, finish this process off in, in five or 10 minutes. We've now waited approximately 10 minutes uh, to allow these surfaces to dry. All we do is we're going to buff this and any, and it's quite clear that immediately that over application has gone. It's completely, completely clean and shiny. Now we're going on to the uh, 601 glass and ceramic coating. You have a slightly different texture when you, it feels pulls a little bit more. You can feel it's not uh, the 673 coating and then it goes smooth. Again, completely, completely clear. Any, any soiling is from the, the reverse side because this is being completely cleared. Now, that is the application done. If this was a window, or in a wash basin, that's it, it's finished. Drying time. So we've got a coating on, can we use it? Technically speaking, you could use it, but we wouldn't advise it. Uh, we would say, this coating here, even though if you had to drive your car outside, and if it was raining now, it would be fine. It needs uh, eight to 10 hours in, in, uh, to dry in ordinary conditions. If it's very, very hot, it's dry in five hours. It's very, very cold, it's 12 or 14. But basically, it, it, for full strength, it takes approximately 10 hours. The, this coating here, the 601, takes approximately 20 to 24 hours. Can you use it before then? Of course you can. It's performing now. I would get hydroviscity if we put water on there now. But it's like paint. It's nanoscale paint. Invisible glass paint. Uh, it doesn't take time to bond. If you warm it, if you had an industrial uh, process, you could warm it and, and use it immediately. But at room temperature, ambient temperature of say 16 to 20 degrees, it's going to take that 10 hours. But that's it. We clean thoroughly. We apply, we let it dry for a little while, five minutes, then we buff the surface and it's ready to go. Okay, very straightforward.